Hi everyone, it's Cindy, and today I want to talk about how you can receive miracles more naturally, more consistently, and more synchronistically in your life. Really, it's not that difficult. Miracles are miracles. Miracles can happen every day. I'm sure you've heard all those taglines before, and you know, um, you know, if you ask for a miracle, that they can come. But how to make miracles come just more naturally? The key to that is start being a miracle worker yourself. Okay? Like anything in life, what you seek is seeking you. What you put out there is on its way to you. Vibration and energy is all about matching. So however you're vibrating, however you're feeling, whatever words you're saying, whatever feelings you're feeling is what you are actively attracting back to yourself. So let's talk about miracles. To receive miracles, what do you have to do? You have to get into the flow, get into the sink of miracles. So you have to be in that vibration of miracles to receive miracles. So if you're saying, oh my gosh, I need a miracle, please God, I need a miracle, my life is so crap, you know, I need this miracle, I need this miracle so bad right now, please. Okay, do you think your miracle is going to come that easily? Does that feel like you're in miracle energy? Now, what does miracle energy feel like? I don't know. I mean, it must be different for everybody. To, but to me, miracle energy feels like magic, like it feels sparkly and light and, you know, those, synchronous, um, those synchronicities and those um, little magical things that just happen to fall in your lap, like, oh my gosh, it's a miracle. You know, when you get a miracle, aren't you like, oh my gosh, I swear this is such a freaking miracle, okay? Is that the same energy as, oh, please, please, like, I'm desperate, I need a miracle? No, it's not. So, yeah, a lot of times when we may need miracles, we might be feeling desperate because why else would we be asking for a miracle if we didn't need, like, a real miracle to come in? So this is how you get into the game of miracles, into the vibration of miracles. Become a miracle worker. What kind of miracles, if you're asking for a miracle, you need to give a miracle, okay? So what are you asking for? What's your miracle that you're asking for? So let's say you need a money miracle because a lot of people are always looking for money. So where in your life can you give a money miracle? Because seriously, even if you think, I can't give a money miracle, that's why I'm asking for a money miracle. If I could afford to give a money miracle, I wouldn't need a miracle. Well, that's not really true. Look at this. I know these people who are looking for, um, they're, they're asking for donations because they need it, okay? And so I'm not going to go into the whole story, but it's a beautiful story, and I'm actually going to support these people. But the thing is, I was thinking, I'd really like to, you know, give them some money because for a wedding present. And... I'm like, okay, you know, the first thing in my mind is, okay, well, how's my finances right now? And, you know, what do I need to make sure I have, I need money for? And, you know, my first thing is like, oh man, you know, I don't, I don't really want to give these people a hundred dollars because, you know, I could use that hundred dollars. And then I'm, then I start thinking, wait a minute, that's lack. That's lack. Why, you know, we need to be miracle workers for other people if we want miracles in our life, okay? And so, absolutely, I could give these people $100 or $50 or whatever the price is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And, you know, before I've donated $1,000 to somebody for, to help them realize a dream, okay? So, you know, I do do this, these things when I feel guided, but what is important to me is when I, I don't do it as a way to say, okay, I'm going to do this because I'm going to receive something. No, I don't do it in that way. I do it in a way as like, okay, how much do I want to give them? And that's where I start. And so if does $100 feel right? Well, I mean, I'd like to, but why? Why do I feel $100? And then I think $50. And I say, you know what? The $50 actually feels right to me because... The hundred dollars, all this other stuff is going on in my head. And it's not about, the stuff that's going on in my head is not about, um, 
oh, I, I can't afford it. No, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with my relationship with these people and what I was feeling about that hundred dollars. I'm not going to go into the details. I'm just saying it almost felt like I was going to expect something from them if I gave them the hundred dollars and that was weird. I shouldn't expect anything if I'm going to give somebody something. You always give with not expecting, right? So the fifty dollars felt better because it felt like you know what this is doable. I can you know do this. That's a, that's still a nice gift, and I don't expect anything. So that's why I'm going for the fifty because a hundred made me feel like I needed to expect something from them, and that's not cool. That's not cool of me at all because it's a gift. Okay, so where you know think about the amount and and what kind of feelings it's giving you. Now also. I also donate a lot of money, well, not a lot, but I, I don't, well, whatever is a lot, okay? Sometimes I do donate a lot. So I donate a lot of times to people who are like spiritual teachers or, you know, people like me because these are people who are not working in a regular, like, corporate job, making a regular salary with benefits because they're do-gooders, they're out there helping people, they're helping to spread positive messages of love and, and healing, and, and, you know, I appreciate that. We need that in our, um, in our world. So I tend to give to people that are like that. So before when I used to work out of a healing center, I used to give 10% of whatever I made to the healing center. And so sometimes that would be $500 a month or $700 a month. And so, you know, you're talking a substantial amount. And I remember one time I was writing out the check and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give them $350 this month because I had some expense or something. But when I was saying I was going to only give $350, I felt weird like I was in a lacking energy. And I was like, oh, I felt so lacking. And then I was like, no, you know what? I need to give them like the 550 or whatever it was. And as soon as I said, you know what? I just need to give them the 550, I felt like a relief. I felt calm. I felt good. I felt happy about giving it. But when I was going to just give the 300 or 350, whatever it was, I felt lacking. I felt like, oh, I felt my energy tense. So that was like such an amazing realization for me. It was like, I don't want to give with the energy that feels tense or I'm lacking or just doesn't feel good. I want to give whatever amount it is that I feel really good about giving. And so that could have been a hundred. It could have been a thousand. It could have been 500, whatever. It really doesn't matter the amount. What matters is how you feel about it. Okay. Now, so, you know, give. You've got to, you know, I can if I can be a miracle worker for somebody and help them out right now when they need it, then I want to do that. And if I withhold, how do I expect to receive anything myself? Because when you withhold, the universe withholds. When you give, the universe gives. Remember, the universe believes everything you say, do, and feel. So whatever you're saying, doing, and feeling, if you're feeling like scared and in lack, the universe is saying, well, you're scared and in lack and you're going to stay that way. But if you feel like, you know what, I, how can I be a miracle worker today? What can I do today to be a miracle worker for, you know, whoever? The universe says, wow, how can I be a miracle worker today for Cindy? How can I be a miracle worker for this world, for this person? And it responds in a positive way for you. So it doesn't have to be about money. You know, how about waking up every day? You know what? I challenge you for one week, wake up every day and say, how can I be a miracle worker for someone today? Who can I be a miracle worker for? And so miracles don't, again, don't have to be in the way of money. Maybe you know, you go on email and you tell somebody, hey, you know what, I just wanted to say I'm thinking about you and I love you and, you know, you bring so much value to my life. Thank you so much. And you know how amazing it is to receive a message like that? Maybe that person is down in the dumps and thinking like they have no place in this world and you totally lift their day. 
you know, just words can be miracles in the making. You know, maybe you just compliment somebody. You know, maybe you're outside and, and you say something nice to any to, to somebody, you know. So wake up with that energy of how can I be a miracle worker for someone today? And then look for that opportunity to be that miracle worker. So when you actively every day wake up and ask how can I be a miracle worker today? You know, you'll be guided to the person, to the thing, to the way. And then just do it. And then you're in the flow of miracle energy. So right now when I'm just talking, even talking about this subject, you're in the energy of the miracle. I'm in the energy of the miracle. And miracles can totally open up and happen right now just because we're sitting in the energy of miracles. Talk about miracles. If you talk about miracles, you're in the energy of the miracles. Read about miracles. If you're reading about miracles, you're in the energy of the miracles. But do being a miracle for somebody, stepping out and just doing, just saying, how can I be a miracle worker today? And doing that every day. Just I challenge you for one week. And I'm going to ask you to comment below in the comments in, in my YouTube. And I'm going to post this on my blog. Wherever you're seeing this message, please comment below and tell me how you can be a miracle worker and, and how that's working for you. Come back and, and, and share your stories because the more that more of us part participate in being a miracle worker, wow, this world becomes a miracle world because all of the miracle workers... <laughs> I mean, I love, I love that. I love the feeling. I love the concept. It's amazing. So be a miracle worker and ask for your miracles. Because remember, if you don't ask, you don't receive. So ask for your miracles and then be a miracle worker. And if you're a miracle worker and you're asking for miracles, then you'll see your miracles. And you'll see even more miracles than you ever even expected just because you are being a miracle worker. What you put out there certainly comes back to you and in ways you'd never, ever imagine. So get your miracle working self out there and start spreading the magic and let's lift this world into a miracle world. And I'll see you out there because that's what vibe I'm going to be writing. Okay, everyone, take care and I'll talk with you later.